gentlemen's, boys and girls, cats, dogs and grandmas and everyone else that's watching. I finally did it. I bought some Alex drawers from Ikea. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So yes, today I'm doing an updated makeup collection which has been requested for quite some time but I've been too ashamed to do it because I didn't have enough storage and everything was a complete mess. But because I bought these drawers, which I know everyone has these drawers but I guess it's because they're really good storage and a really great way at storing makeup. I'm gonna show you through my makeup my mystery drawers. And a quick note that everything in here I use on a regular basis Basis and I treasure it a lot. I'm not one of these people that keep like 50 bottles of foundation because who needs that much? Not me. You can be sure that everything in here I use a lot, I love, I value, and most of it I've bought myself. So let's get trucking. <laughs> What? So I'm going to begin with what's on top of my drawers, which is a few little bits and bobs. I have a stag jewelry holder, which has a few of my rings on and some of my favorite necklaces. Below that, I have a couple of perfumes, which I use on a regular basis, which is my Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede, my Christina Aguilera perfume, and also my Zoella Blissful Mistful, which as you can see, I've used a lot of. Next to that is my Rose Gold Deer from Ikea, and next to that, is a rose gold pot full of lots of little brushes. These are my special effects brushes and a couple of sculpting tools. Welcome to my first drawer of makeup. So this drawer I keep my foundations, concealers, primers and press powders. So I'm gonna start over on the right. Over here are the foundations that I use the most, which is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And I have a spare one here. Here are some emergency foundations in case they run out. Next to it are a couple of concealers. I have my Rimmel Wake Me Up below there. And the one that I use the most, which is the Eraser Eye, which is very, very good love the sponge on the end and behind those are some more concealers so I have a MAC one here um, I have some shade adjuster drops which are really great if you want to like play around with the colour of your foundation or if it doesn't match. I then have a NYX Wonder Stick which is really great for contouring and behind there I have a couple of primers a little bit of a little bit of a mashup of different ones. Then here I keep my primers. So I have Benefits Professional. I have an Insta Blur one from The Body Shop and I also have Soap and Glories, one heck of a blot. I have a Spare Professional here and this one here is an anti-shine thing which I've not actually used yet. Over here I have my pressed powders. Um, I used collection pressed powders for years but the one that I'm really enjoying at the moment is this one which is a translucent powder by NYX and it's the one that I'm using all of the time. It's very, very good and I love it a lot. Behind the pressed powders, I have a concealer palette from MAC and also a concealer palette from Sleek. So yeah, that's the top drawer. Welcome to drawer number two. So this drawer holds my blushes, highlighters and bronzers and it's my favourite drawer because I'm obsessed with highlighters. I'm going to start over here. This is a mishmash of many random little individual blushes. I have a Too Faced one over here which is three shades. I have lots of individual ones. This is actually the first blush that I ever bought and it's from MAC and it's a cream one. It's very well loved, probably not hygienic, still have it. I have a Tarte one, I have some liquid ones from the Body Shop. These ones smell absolutely fantastic, love them a lot. I have a Rimmel cream one here, Soap and Glory stick and then we're moving on to the highlighters which is my favourite part. So this is my Too Faced Candlelight Glow highlight which is one of my favourites. In fact all of my highlighters are my favourites. This one has been well loved, which you've probably seen in quite a lot of videos, which is my uh, skin finish one. Uh, my mineralized skin finish in shade Light Scapade. Very, very good. It's a must have. I missed a blusher here. This is a MAC Skin Finish Mineralized Blush in shade Fabulous. And these are two new things to my collection, which I really do recommend. They're amazing. They are highlighter palettes. This one is my favorite, which is the Solstice palette. Look at those highlighters, like, come on, look at that. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And this one here is a limited edition one, and it's so pretty. There's the box underneath, and here are the colors in that one. It's more of a cool toned highlighter palette, but yes, 
Love these, so cheap, and the most pigmented highlighters that I own. Uh, behind those, I have a couple more blushes. This is the one that I use all of the time, which is my hourglass one. And then I have a trio blush set from Sleek over here. And something hiding back here is a little bronze thing from the body shop. Over here, I have another blush highlighter from MAC. Uh, here are some highlighty things and bronzy things. And over here, is my favorite bronzer. This is my Cherries Cooler Bronzer from Benefit. They were very kind to send this to me, that's why it's personalized. And this was my old favorite, which is a sleek bronze block, but I need two just in case I lose one. Alrighty then, drawer number three. This is a little bit of a mismatch drawer. I have a lot of individual eyeshadows. Over here are my color tattoo pots, which I have five shades of. And my favorite is this one, which is on and on bronze. And then here I have some Korean eyeshadows. These are beautiful. They're by the beauty people and they're the most pigmented shadows I've ever seen. Very thick and very big chunks of glitter. Love them. Love shiny things. I'm like a magpie. I have a MAC one, some Crayola and glitter. These are some of my favorite eyeshadows, which I don't use as much as I should. These are Urban Decay and this one's shade Intergalactic and the one there is Space Cowboy. Here are some pots of Barry M Dust. So these are just pigment eyeshadows and I have a couple of those. These are some very early products that I bought. These are probably the oldest thing in my makeup collection. Over here at the front I have a MAC Quad eyeshadow and here is a brow kit. It didn't really have a home but I used to use these all of the time before I found the brow whizzes. And I have a couple of individuals here. This is Lush Pigment and a NARS and a no name one but yes those are all my eyeshadows and then behind there are where the lashes live. These are my current favourites. These are by Eldora and they're so dramatic. They're just fabulous. They're very out there. I have some cheap ones here and behind there, nearly kicked the camera over, I have some individual ones by Fleur and these ones here at the top are the ones that I reuse quite often. And behind there, I have my contact lenses. I have quite a few of these, if I can get that out. These are all of my contact lenses and they're all in little macaroon cases which I think are very cute and there's some more little eyeshadows there by Kiko. Drawer number four, as you can tell, is homed to my lip products. So I'm gonna start at the front. These are Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Glosses. I have quite a lot of those because they were gifted to me, but they are really nice. I think this is one of my favorite shades here, and perhaps this one as well. I have two Barry M glosses here. This one smells like pineapple, and I think this one smells like toffee. I have a couple of Tanya Burr lip glosses, which I really like, and a Smashbox one. And then I'm going to move on to this little tray here. So I have a lot of lip crayons and my favorite one in the whole wide world, which a lot of you always ask what it is whenever I wear it, is this. And it's Tarte Exposed and it's beautiful and it's like the perfect nude. So if you're after a perfect nude, I definitely recommend this. So I have that in a couple of other shades. I have a Kat Von D liquid lipstick here which is beautiful it's in shade outlaw i have a nyx one in purple which you may recognize from a haul and a few more random lip crayons there and then we move on to my lipstick so i have a couple of mac ones here i have a kat von d one here which these are so beautiful like the packaging is insane and the lipstick itself looks beautiful really studded i have a little lip quad here from sleek some lip and cheek tints go here random lipsticks and then behind all of that I have some lip balms and some lip scrubs. I have a Zoella lip balm. I have this one from Tony Moly. It's in the shape of a cherry. How cool is that? I'll give you 10 guesses of why I bought it. And yeah, so those are my lip products. I have enough to keep me going for a while. Draw number five, the home of mascaras and lots of little bits and bobs. So I'm gonna start at the beginning at the front here. So I have a lot of crayons here. These are just eyeliner pencils. My beloved brow whizzes because I love these. They make your eyebrows amazing. I love this as well, which is a jumbo pencil from NYX in shade Milk. Uh, yeah, lots of random pencils. Not gonna go individually through them. Um, I have some glitter liners here from Urban Decay. And these are my liquid liners and the ones that I'm loving at the moment. This used to be my old favorite, the Rimmel Glam Eyes. But now NYX has taken first place. I love these. I won't line my eyes with anything else. They're fabulous. I also have one in white. So a white one, vinyl, and matte. 
Then behind here, let's pull it out a bit more. I have my mascaras. I have quite a few mascaras, I'm not gonna lie. They are all a little bit random, but my favorite one is this, which is the benefit they're real. I have a primer, the blue one, and just the black one. So these are all just random mascaras that I've collected. And I have a couple of samples down here. So Max, Smashbox, Fair Minerals. But yes, that's where the mascaras live. Next door is my makeup tools. So tweezers, eyelash curlers, eyelash glue, a sharpener, uh, nail clippers, lots of little bits and bobs that just don't have a home really. Then behind there I have cotton buds and wool pads. I cannot do my makeup without cotton buds because when you mess up these are your best friends. So yeah, that is the fifth drawer. Drawer number five, perhaps one of my favourite drawers because it's home to many eyeshadow palettes. This is why I wanted these drawers because they're just so hard to store eyeshadow palettes because they're quite big. So I'm going to start down here. This is one of my Urban Decay palettes and how beautiful is the cover, it is amazing. Just to give you an idea of the colours in that one, they're quite bright but there's some neutrals too. I also have the Naked 3, you've all seen that before. And I have a Vice palette here too, I cried when I got this for Christmas because I'd always wanted it. Here are the colours in that and oh my god, they're lovely and so pigmented. Here I have a little Glitter MAC set. I have my Sleek palettes. This one's no longer available, I don't think, but I really do like it. I have a Storm palette here and some Makeup Revolution ones. Look at how many colors that you get. So I got a Neutrals one, but I also got ones with some jazzy colors in because sometimes I like to be bold. Behind here is a Sigma palette, which is the Warm Neutrals. So let's just, it doesn't want to be opened. There you go, Warm Neutrals in there. And that's a cheap eBay palette. I have a Too Faced palette, which is the Too Faced, the Return of Sexy. There's some very nice colors in that one. Look at those golds. Oh yes, love it, love it, love it. You are very sexy. Now this is a palette which some of you might be interested in, especially if you get spots that are hard to cover up. This is my Cryolan Dermacolor palette. It's camouflage cream. They smell very delicious. And they're just sort of industry standard type concealers that will cover anything. They'll even cover tattoos. So yeah, I use this quite often if there's some stubborn things that I can't cover on my face because we all want perfect skin. I also have a Tarte palette here, which is in a pretty cool case. It kind of looks like a purse, but it's not. It's makeup, and that is what is in that one. So yeah, those are all of my palettes, and I love them so much. Draw number six, what can I say about this drawer? This is very much skincare, moisturizers, makeup removers. So down here I have my micellar waters. This is a must have and I use this all of the time. It's the best makeup remover in the world. But if you have stubborn makeup or waterproof makeup, I also have the oil infused one, which is really good, smells amazing. Over here I have some face setting makeup face makeup setting sprays so I have one from the body shop on my NYX matte one which is my current favorite has some moisturizers here's one from the body shop this is my favorite one but it's empty it's a reminder to buy some more but it smells like oranges it is delicious I have some hand cream there a body shop mask have some spot treatments so I put this on mean monster spots that won't go away and yeah it's magic have some more moisturizers down here and then if i open the drawer a little bit further i have some body butters at the back <laughs> it's the most messy drawer i apologize these are my best friends these are hand sanitizers from bath and body works in america i always buy these when i go and see my american friends and yeah they're so nice i always use these before i do my makeup because it's always really nice to have clean fresh scented hands love them I have quite a few of those actually <laughs> but yeah so that's my skincare sort of cupboard and yeah most refreshing drawer and that is the end of my makeup collection I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a giant thumbs up and boot that subscribe button if you're brand new here so you don't miss out on future videos and yeah let me know down in the comments how you are doing this week I always like to know how you're getting on and I guess I'll see you in my next video bye guys